Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to the video. It's time to design the mini sump, but I'm not going to do it in my normal format. I am going to go back to an old favorite of mine. Uh, it wasn't too long ago that I would uh, put out ideas and get you guys to vote on them, and you guys helped design uh, whatever filter I was going to build. I actually really like that style of doing things, so I figure I'll bring it back for this. I'm going to give out some ideas here, and I am going to uh, put out a poll in a few days. And you guys are quite welcome to leave comments on this and also on the poll as well and of course vote and together we're going to design what this sump is going to look like and then i'm going to build it of course and uh, get you guys to see it so this is just the basic dimensions this is the platform it's roughly 24 inches long minus a little bit and then it's eight inches wide and uh, 10 inches tall that is the full capacity of the shelf uh, some of it's not going to obviously be usable because there's going to be an input pipe on uh, the left hand side uh, right about there and of course there's going to be an overflow pipe uh, the overflow isn't really going to affect uh, anything as far as the design goes but this is like i said the basic structure so what i'm going to do initially is i'm going to start off and give you guys a basic design the standard sump I built a, a great many sumps over the years and they all sort of follow a similar kind of path so I'm gonna set that up first and then uh, we'll get into some other designs as well the other interesting thing about doing it this way is this is how I actually design pretty much everything I build I get some rough dimensions off of wherever it's gonna go or uh, what I want it to actually fit and then I sketch it out, uh, solidify the outside dimensions a little bit, and then I figure out what I want on the internals, uh, settle on the design I like, and then on the bottom part of the page, uh, which we're not going to get to today because we're not settling on a design here, I would write out the number of pieces, uh, their sizes, and I would use that to cut them all out, and then I would weld it all together, and you guys end up with a new filter. So. This is going to be, first off, just the basic sump design. Pretty much every sump is like this. Water comes in on one side, either from the top or, in this case, the side. Uh, goes over uh, some form of uh, porous platform, which will have either a sponge on it or, uh, you know, fine filter floss, something along that. Something that will give you some mechanical filtration. It'll go down through some kind of media, uh, and then it's directed by that baffle you see. Uh, flows through a central chamber of some kind, which can either have more media in it or just empty. Uh, sometimes, like bags of various materials will go in it. Uh, things along those lines, through another baffle and into the main chamber where the pump is, which will to the water return. And then, of course, uh, in my case, there's going to be an overflow, which will go down into my overflow system. So whenever I do a water change on the tank, I don't have to go through any great uh, bucket carrying process. I just pour water in the tank. It mixes in the general tank. And of course, we'll, all the excess will just overflow through uh, that overflow. And that's it. That is a basic sump. And that will be option A, most likely, <laughs> on what's coming up. Now, there are so many different ways of doing this. And please feel free to make suggestions. I'm only going to give a few examples here. Uh, if I end up seeing a whole pile of stuff that I didn't cover or I see a lot of popularity with certain ideas, uh, then uh, we'll do up another poll and we'll get there. I mean, we'll design something. It's going to take quite a while for me to get all the, the various sealants on that um, platform so that it doesn't uh, warp or anything and you know it's going to take a bit of time so there you go this is option b which is going to be as you can see a high humidity planter on top and then it's going to go down through media and uh, the same that part's going to be the same this part on the far right is going to be the same which leaves us the central chamber and, and often in a lot of cases in this sort of sump design it is a place where most of the variability can happen. You can have all kinds of different media, as I mentioned in the you know basic design. Or in this particular case, what we can do is we can fill it all the way to the top with uh, something fairly coarse, like lava rock, and then we can plant in, again, an immersed plant, like pothos or a luna plant or any of the other plants that you've seen that have been growing immersed, like peace lilies and all that sort of stuff. That would make this, again, um, not a high humidity planter because it will be exposed to the air, 
uh, but it will uh, provide an awful lot of denitrification uh, through the plant's metabolism. And that would be another option. So I'm going to try and make this a little bit more uh, clear in the options uh, for the poll. I think they only allow me to give five options, uh, so uh, we may end up doing this more than once. But as you can see here, uh, this gives me a high humidity planter uh, with uh, pseudo aquaponics uh, on it as well. So that is a, an interesting possibility. Now, if we want to get away completely from this sort of design, uh, the standard uh, sump design with baffles and all that sort of stuff, we can just open up the whole thing and have the water come in on the left as always, because that's it has to come in on the left because that's where my hookup is. We need to put in one baffle because the pump and the overflow have to have a separate chamber. Uh, but other than that, the rest of it can stay completely open. We do forego a fair amount of mechanical filtration, of course. But as you've seen with my uh, design for the new leak-proof canister, uh, it does work really quite well without any mechanical filtration. Now, this tank is going to have uh, an awful lot <laughs> of large fish in it. So this may not be the best design, but it is an option. So I wanted to put it out there. And of course, we can cap this thing and give the exact same process, except keep the entire top part as a high humidity planter. That does, again, you know, limit certain aspects of this because, uh, Again, no mechanical filtration, really. Uh, we do get a bit more growth because of the extra humidity, uh, but I have left out completely. We can, you know, not necessarily just grow uh, pothos and java fern and all that sort of stuff in here. We can grow uh, as a true aquaponic system and have this set up for, um, like, all well, vegetables. I did try growing some onions. There's a bit more space above this now, especially considering this is not going to be underneath an aquarium or underneath the roof. This is going to go completely uh, free. It's about four feet to the ceiling. So and there's a fair amount of light in this area. We can grow all sorts of stuff. So there you go. That's the long story. Uh, the short version is I'm going to put up a poll, give you uh, four or five options. Please leave comments. Uh, if you have ideas, definitely let me know what they are, and I'll try and incorporate them uh, into possibly a future poll. Uh, the options that are less popular, I'll just drop off and put new ideas from you guys in there. And hopefully in short order, we'll end up with something that uh, well, encompasses as many different possibilities of what you want um, for this sump. The other thing to keep in mind, of course, is if depending on how this goes and how popular it is. I am building one more. Uh, it may get a video, it may not get a video, depending upon uh, how this is received. And we can incorporate more ideas into that one as well. So it doesn't necessarily, this filter I should say, have all things incorporated in it. Uh, there will be a, at least one more. There you go. That's the end of my long-winded approach to this. Thank you for listening. Leave comments, let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.